Hello everyone, welcome to a new lecture. In this video, we are going to talk about deformation stages. But first, you have to know a concept and that is the concept of stress and strain. In the previous lecture, we talked about stress and how it is the force that changes or deforms rocks and materials, but we did not talk about strain. So what is strain? Well, strain is the change in size, shape, or any kind of movement of the material, including translation or tilting. So any changes or deformation that happens in a rock, that is strain. So let me give you an example. Imagine you have a spring and you exert a force on it with your hands and you squeeze this spring. The force that your hands exert on the spring is stress. But the deformation, the shortening in length, the change in size of the spring, that is strain so strain is deformation but stress is the force that causes deformation so knowing what is stress and strain and depending on what situation a rock is in there are three stages of deformation so what are the stages of deformation or how many stages of deformation are there well we have three stages of deformation we have elastic deformation or the elastic stage we have ductile stage and we have brittle stage or brittle deformation all rocks when they are deformed go through these stages of deformation so let me give you an example to illustrate how these stages of deformation happen imagine you have a spring and you pull the spring upward what happens to the spring is that it will increase in length but after that it will come back to its original shape this is a stage of deformation imagine you pull this spring so hard that it will not come back to its original shape this is different than the first stage because in the first stage we pull the string and came back to its original shape but in this stage we pull it so hard that it didn't come back to its original shape we have another stage that you pull the spring so hard that it breaks so either you pull it hard and it comes back to its original shape or you pull it very hard and it doesn't come back to its original shape or you pull it so hard that it will break we have three stages so just like that we have three stages of deformation we have elastic deformation we have ductile deformation and we have brittle deformation the elastic deformation is the stage where you pull the spring and it comes back to its original shape but the ductile deformation is the stage that you pull the spring so hard that it doesn't come back to its original shape and the brittle deformation is the stage that you pull the spring so hard that it breaks just like that rocks when they are subjected to stress they go through these stages of deformation they go through the elastic deformation and then the ductile deformation and then eventually they break so let's look at each of these stages in more detail the first stage the elastic deformation or the elastic stage is the deformation where the strain which means the change in the rock is reversible just like in the spring we put a stress on it we pulled it but the deformation was reversible the spring came back to its original position and the original shape just like that rocks that are subjected to elastic deformation come back to their original shape meaning that the strain is reversible after that comes the stage of ductile or the ductile deformation this stage is where the deformation meaning the strain or the change in the rock is irreversible so in the case of the spring you pull it so hard that it does not come back to its original shape just like that when rocks are in the right condition and have right properties when you put enough stress on them and you strain them they don't come back to their original shape just like you see in this picture this strata was squeezed from both sides and it was deformed but this strata did not go back to its original shape when the stress was removed so ductile deformation is the deformation where the strain or change in the rock is irreversible there is no way you can change or you can redo the changes that happened on this rock since it went through a ductile deformation the last type of deformation or the last stage of deformation is brittle deformation in this stage your strata or your rock breaks since the amount of stress was so high that it exceeds the rock's strength or the strata strength it basically breaks so brittle deformation is irreversible deformation where the material breaks just like you see in this picture 
the stress on the strata was so high that it broke the strata as you can see this side broke or detached from this side and this side was detached from the other one since the compressional stress from both sides was so high that it broke the stratas and this is brittle deformation so either we have elastic deformation where deformation or the strain in the rock is reversible or we have ductile deformation where deformation or the strain in the rock is irreversible or we have brittle deformation where the deformation is irreversible and the material breaks these are the stages of deformation that happens on a rock there's a graph that you should know about it and this is a graph of stress against strain so imagine you have a rock or imagine you have the string that i talked about at the beginning of the lecture at the beginning it has an elastic deformation you put an amount of stress on it and it will go back to its original shape but after a point which is called the elastic limit after crossing this point the spring or the rock will not go back to its original shape it will stay deformed so this region is called the ductile deformation or the ductile region after crossing the elastic limit the rock or the material will not go back to its original shape if the amount of strain gets higher and higher you reach a point of fracture this point is the ultimate strength of the material after this point the material or the rock or the spring will break and fracture after this point the brittle deformation or the brittle stage starts so you have the elastic stage in this area after the elastic limit you have the ductile deformation or the ductile stage after the ultimate strength point or the fracture point you get the brittle stage and in this area you have permanent strain or in the region under the ductile deformation in this area after you put a stress on the material and you strain it the material or the rock or the spring does not go back to its original shape so hopefully by now you understand different stages of deformation depending on the amount of stress we put on a rock and what type of strain they produce and with this we come to the end of our lecture so to recap the whole lecture 